Everything established in society is contrary, man. That's why they promote lesbianism, homosexuality, bestiality, pedophilia. That's all against the Bible, man. Getting tattoos, that's against the law, man. Adultery, that's against the Most High. Being a bunch of thieves, liars, murderers, deception, witchcraft. Matter of fact, which I'm finna celebrate on 31st. Witchcraft. That's witchcraft. That's divination of spirits. That's witchcraft. The Bible says, "Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live." Yep. And you about to uh, dress your children up to be witches, right? You're putting all those demonic spirits on your children. And, you, and, and when you do that, you're basically sacrificing your children. When you put them in them costumes and send them out there, man, invoking them spirits, that's sacrificing of your own children, man. So how is salvation for the people that establish this type of wickedness? Right. And let me, let me say it like this real quick, bro, on Halloween. Go ahead, huh? In the movie Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, right? The guy gives a, a beautiful breakdown in the movie of what Halloween is. He said, you thought no more than the, uh, than the custom of having to dress your children up and sending them out begging for candy. Yep. That part of the spirits, you know, but it's a bigger, but it's, he said, but there's a better reason. Because you're basically trying to, the, 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 the spirits of the dead are closer to the earth right there because of the, the spirit of witchcraft is heavy. Yep. And so it's time to, uh, to, to do sacrifices. That's what Halloween was about. Yep. Back when you go to old Celtic lands, that's what it was about. Right? So the point of what the brother said to tie it in is this. You go and send your kid out to do that, you put all the spirits on them of all that witchcraft. You don't even consider what they're really out there doing. Part of the experience is having everybody in that mother spirit. Halloween ain't even scary no more. Halloween's all happy, happy Halloween. There's no such thing. People was getting slaughtered. And they sacrificed on Halloween. Why is that a, a mirthful spirit on Halloween now? Because you use it as another excuse to put another demonic vibration of happiness on it. To go out and get candy, which makes kids happy. To go get drunk, which makes grown-ups happy. And lose all their inhibitions and forget about all their love. You know, what they're supposed to be doing. That's the spirit of Halloween that you guys have now built it up to be. Yep, thanks to this devil, man. Yep. And that's why at the end of that scripture it says, we seek not after thy uh, statutes, man. Yep. Esau don't give a damn. You know, he could care less. And that's why he establishes these type of holidays and got our people in that snare. Yep. You know? Some but you only but this is only a snare. Right. But this is only a snare until you until you undesirables, man. Yep. The two-thirds that need to be purged out anyway. Yep. Alright? But salvation is only for the elect, just to bring it, just to tie it back around. Go ahead, uh. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 6. Keep therefore and do them. Yep. Matter of fact, let me go up real quick, brother. Uh, verse 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes. Matter of fact, let me start at 1, then I'll tell you. It says, this is Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 1, so we know what we're talking about. It says, Now therefore hearken, O Israel, yep. unto the statutes and unto the judgments which I teach you. Yep. For to go do them, what's the line? For to do them, that ye may live and go in and possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers giveth you. Yep. Verse 2. Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall ye diminish out from it. Yep. That ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your God which I command you. That's right. So that's, that, that, that's directed towards the nation of Israel. Right. You so-called uh, Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, Seminole Indians. The Lord gave you a, 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 a com commandments, man. You know? But it, it, in today's society, man, the law of the Most High is strange in your ears, man. Right. When you hear it, it just it, it sounds strange to you. Because you don't remember how, uh, you don't remember how, uh, uh, the righteousness that was established among our nation once was at one point. Right. We had the law, statutes, commandments uh, with us, man. But now it's, it's, it's strange to your ears, you know? 
Now you done become that degenerate plant to, uh, to the most high. You know? The Lord being strange to you, now you strange to the most high, man. Right? The most high looks at the two thirds of our own people as strange, like they heat as they damn self, man. You know? You want to go out and celebrate this wickedness called Hollow's Hollow's Ween. Hollow's Eve. You know, you becoming strange to the most high. What's the night before Hollow's Eve? Devil's night? Yep. Deceiver's night? Yep. That's when the most wickedness gets done. The night before. Yep. Man, I don't know this, but the spirit is kind of telling me this. What if. You know, I'm, I didn't do the research on it yet, and then like that, we're going to have to get a chance to get into that. But what if they actually sacrificed on the 30th, those that made it, those that... So long, so long. Well, basic, basic. Yeah, that's the spirit. Yeah, that's, that's the spirit. That's the spirit. Yeah, look, look. That's the Satanist caliber. So it's like this, man. It says, look, on the 22nd to the 29th, what I was going to say through the spirit anyway, what if they prepared you for sacrifice up to the 30th, right? Yep. Then the 31st is the joyful time of those that made it through that time. Yep. Look what it says here, 22nd to the 29th, sacrifice preparation, kidnapping, holding, and ceremonial preparation of persons for human sacrifice. It says the 28th to the 30th, Satan is high holy days related to Halloween. Human sacrifice. They're actually doing them then. The 31st, All Hallows Eve, one of the two mo most important nights of the year. Attempts are made to break the bond, which is keeping the doors to the, the underworld closed. Blood and sexual rituals. Sexual association with demons, which is Baphomet is one of them, right? To animal and human sacrifice, male or female. Huh? And then there's a high holy day after Halloween. Well, that, that's for y'all that made it after. Yeah. Appreciate that. That's for y'all that made it after. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So that's that's why you in that merciful spirit on the 31st, because you didn't make it through the sacrifices. Yeah. You know? Yeah. All right. Anyway, let me let me keep reading, right? Uh, verse 6. Uh, verse 5. It says, Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments. Even as the Lord my power commanded me that ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. Yep. I repeat what it said, right? Yep. It says, Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. Yep. That's already separated you from the other nations, right? This is your power. And said, this is your wisdom and understanding in the sight of the other nations. It says, we shall hear all these statutes and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what nation is there so great who have the most high so near unto them as the Lord our power is in all things that we call upon him for? And what nation is there so great that have statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law which I set before you this day? So before Israel, that's why we established that he was talking to Israel in the first verse of the fourth chapter of Deuteronomy. You know, to this for them and not the nation is going to look at you as something separate. And what other nation is so great that had these statutes of all the commandments as, as we have, as Israelites, that we have? You know, that separates that it's not for you. So salvation is also not for you. I just go back and tell me, read it again, bro. Psalms 119. Psalms 119 and 155. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they seek not thy statutes. Yeah, only so salvation is only for those that are seeking the, the statutes, man. Yeah. Yeah. So that well, even that, that even so that even alienates two thirds of, of Israel, man, because they're not seeking after the uh, law, statutes, and commandments. You know, they're out there trying to be witches and, and warlocks. Yeah. That's in the statute. You ain't supposed to be engulfed in, in, in that wickedness. Putting your putting your children through the through the spiritual fire. You know? 
invoking spirits. You know, the Lord gave us com uh, commandments of what to do and what not to do, what to abstain from, what to partake in. Basic, basic instructions, man. Yeah.